Hey guys, Ken here for the Retro Tarskabase channel in Malaysia. More classic Civil Hawks villains to showcase today, and we've got the evil mechanical monstrosity Buzzsaw, also one of Monstar's henchmen on the classic cartoon show. Now, you know, the 80s was truly a decade for brand new pop culture characters like no other. Okay, we literally had something like hundreds of new characters being created for so many new franchises in just a span of about, what, five to six years? Okay, that's never happened before. And I'm not quite sure if Buzzsaw here is quite as well remembered, but he certainly is a pretty iconic bad guy in his own right, okay? And uh, like all of the Silver Hawks action figures, this guy is made up of very solid plastic. And, you know, uh, looking at this figure here, I keep seeing this slot that's on the back of almost all of the bad guy villain figures, and I can't figure out what is actually supposed to fit in there, okay? Definitely not any of the accessories that the figure comes with, all right? So yeah, uh, that's pretty much still a mystery to me at this point. Okay, yeah, so like I said, this guy is pretty tough, okay? And um, he does have quite a good range of articulation. Uh, articulation is present in his shoulders, all right? His shoulder blades do turn. Uh, and uh, you actually also have uh, something like a swivel hands all right the hands do swivel around that's cool okay i wasn't really expecting that um you also get a uh, hip articulation and a knee articulation all right it's just a very generous <laughs> allocation of articulation to this one figure all right i mean especially for an 80s action figure all right it's fantastic that they put so much work into it now I have to say that the inclusion of the knee articulation is really great, okay, because you get to have him in all these really dynamic poses, like this one here where he seems to be advancing slowly towards the enemy. FORWARD! Okay, now Buzzsaw is just stuffed with blades top to bottom. Uh, those on the top of his head are not articulated. Uh, the blades on his shoulders are operated by the figure's action feature, which we'll check out in a bit, but you can also spin them around manually. And uh, the blades on his hands are definitely manually operated. You do have to spin them around on your own. Okay, um, yeah, I mean, you do have to do some of the work, okay? But I think it's fantastic that they included so many moving parts on this one figure, right? What do you guys think about this? Now, Basso gets a companion weapon bird called the Shreditor. You know what? I love that name, man. Shreditor. Now, this bird is keeping in the wipe of his master. Uh, basically, you know, this thing just cuts and slices and shreds, okay, just like Buzzsaw does. Okay, so what you need to do is you kind of like uh, just push in the head, uh, push it into the body, and it causes the wings to just spin around, okay? Yeah, spin around as though it's cutting, cutting and slicing, shredding the enemy. Now you can have the Shredditor hang out with his pal Buzzsaw by attaching him to either wrist pack on Buzzsaw's hands like so. Okay, so I think that this you know, makes up for a pretty good look, alright? A really good look. And uh, you can have him just basically chilling out on your display shelf like this. And the other thing I noticed is that the, you know, the joints are very sturdy. You can have Buzzsaw in some pretty dynamic poses with Shredditor on him and the figure doesn't even topple over. It's fantastic, guys. Okay, now to activate his action feature, what you gotta do is lift up Buzzsaw's head and then just let it drop. And this will cause the blades on his shoulders to spin around. Now the faster you lift up his head up and down like that, okay, the faster the blades seem to spin. Man, I just love how it just grinds to a halt like that at the end. Once Buzzsaw gets the enemy up close, there's no escape from his blades of doom. Yeah! No! No! Okay guys, so that's my look at the Buzzsaw figure from Kenner's line of Silver Hawks figures from the 1980s. You know what? Handling this toy again, I actually forgot just how much fun it is, alright? I mean, uh, they actually packed this thing with so many fun play features, alright? Uh, if you do happen to find him, or if you already do have him in your collection, just pick him up, handle him for a bit, you know? He's a lot of fun. And I want to know what you guys thought of the video, okay? Let me know what you guys think of Silverhawks in general, and I'll leave all your comments below. I'll catch all of you again real soon. Thank you.